The objectives of this video is the explanation in the second of the two yield criterions of combined shear stresses and normal stresses. This is known as von Mises yield criterion, and then a brief comparison of von Mises and Tresca's criterion. Okay, so what is von Mises? It's the second of the two yield criterion in combined normal and shear stresses. It's based on the energy associated with the distorted shape of an element. Okay, now the calculations of this energy distortion is very much beyond the scope of this course. So, we make an assumption that yielding is assumed to occur when the shearing distortion of an element under a combined shear stress state equals to the shearing distortion of an energy under a uniaxial tension yield. Okay? So this simplifies the process in a massive uh, in a massive situation, okay? So, in terms of three dimensions, including uh, out-of-plane stresses, von Mises can be expressed as, so in terms of principal stresses 1, 2, and 3, it can be expressed as principal stress 1 minus 2 squared plus principal stress 1 minus 3 squared plus principal stress 2 minus principal stress 3 squared equals to 2Fy squared, okay? But, Previously, as I've explained, we only worry about two-dimensional in-plane stresses in this course, so we can eliminate and take out the third principal stress from this equation. Okay? So von Mises' criterion, yield criterion, becomes this. We can put it in terms of the principal stresses, so it becomes uh, principal stress 1 squared minus principal stress 2 squared minus the product of principal 1 times principal 2, or we can use the initial